I would like to do a quick update on my CG Roebling Blue Indigo because we saw this orchid early in the season of 2022. She had to struggle through a very terrible spring and then she gave me some deformed blooms. Now, I concluded that the blooms and the deformities in those blooms were because of lack of light. Well, she's had plenty of light throughout the growing season. She has grown two new growths and the growth that should bloom as well hasn't bloomed. And this one has bloomed one bloom and it is deformed. And now I'm posing a question. I'm going to tell you I've given her all the fertilizer she needs. She has grown a fantastic root system from the new growths. She has had supplements as per usual from her previous amazing bloomings in 2020 and 2021. And yes, my spring was diabolical, so I accepted deformed blooms. But my summer, despite what I consider mild temperatures, was not diabolical. And she had plenty of light, living in exactly the same place where she used to live back in 2020 and 2021, when I had fabulous bloomings. This year, the only difference is I had to deal with some scale on her, but that started also in spring. The conditions were bad, la di da di da but we took care of the scale. But you can see the yellowing of the leaves back here. Those are the older pseudobulbs. Now, I can say these are old. They're going to go anyway, but you can also see where scale has gone in, and I think it deteriorated the leaf sooner than need be. The same is happening on this lead here. The leaves are starting to decline as well. So, what is going on here? Why? The colors are beautiful. This could be a wet droplet, a water droplet. I don't know, but when I pulled her out, it was like this. It could also be because she was right up against the trellis. So, it could be that she was bruised and that is why we're getting these wet spots here. But what is this? And excuse me. Hello. What is what, what's what's this? What's going on here? What, what what are you doing? For real? I have nice petals. That is for sure. Got a beautiful lip. Looks a little bit like you know off center as well. Clearly something is going on here. So I'm gonna put it out there. What do you think? Oh, it looks better on the viewfinder than it does in real life. <laughs> what do you think? What is going on with my CG Roebling? Because now I'm at a little bit at a loss for words because I was looking forward to the second blooming to see that she would bloom out properly. Is it possible that the venom of scale has affected my orchid? Is it possible that she is now virused because of the scale? It's not light, it's not fertilizer, it's not supplements, and it's not lack of water. Because deformed blooms can also happen because of lack of water. So, would you please, even if you've never commented before, give me your thoughts. Your opinion matters. I am super interested. I would like to troubleshoot with other opinions than mine now. This back here, this is just sunburn. So that's not something I'm too concerned about. That's not an effect that I'm looking out for. The only different variable between this summer's blooming and last year's summer's blooming, which was perfect, is that she has had scale during spring. And since then, no scale. Otherwise, everything was as per usual from the years where she bloomed perfectly. Anyway, I babble. You see what I'm getting at? I look forward to hearing from you. Let's see if we can get to the bottom of this because if this is a virus, yeah, it's gonna be a tight squeeze in my growth space and I'm not sure I want a virus orchid in there. And you know what really annoys me as well? It's a shame because the second lead didn't bloom. That's this one. This is the growth that she grew during the summer. This one didn't bloom. This one bloomed, but it was deformed. So it's a shame I can't make a distinction between one growth and the other and its performance. So yeah. Anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you for giving this some thought. I appreciate whatever it is you have to throw at me. And I appreciate your time. And again, we have a video that is a little bit <clears throat> of a downer. So once again, my self-esteem is at its lowest. Please give this video a like. I would so appreciate it. 
If you have a second device, then do that with the other device as well. Thank you so, so much. Have yourselves a fabulous day. On one condition, please, that you stay safe. Take care. Bye.